Good evening from Los Angeles. I'm Tavis Smiley. Tonight, a rare conversation with legendary singer, songwriter, and actor Chris Christopherson. The Grammy award-winning musician became a household name after starring opposite Barbara Streisand in the classic film A Star is Born. This fall, he's out with a new album called Closer to the Bone. The disc features a tribute to his friend and mentor, Johnny Cash. We're glad you've joined us. Chris Christopherson coming up right now. Please, delighted and honored to welcome to this program Chris Christopherson, the legendary singer, songwriter, and actor has enjoyed so much success in music and film, including, of course, his Golden Globe winning performance in A Star is Born. He was also a member of the legendary group The Highway Men, which featured Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, and Johnny Cash this fall. He's out with a much talked about new CD called Closer to the Bone from the project. Here is some of the video for the title track, Closer to the Bone. Heading for the highway, rolling like a river, soaring like an eagle, skipping like a stone, coming from the heartbeat, nothing but the truth now, everything is sweeter, closer to the bone. ask you just a second about Closer to the Bone, what this song is about, after I tell you what an honor it is to have you on this program. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and after I tell the audience um, what you leaned over and whispered to me when that video started playing. What? Well, I, I've forgotten forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christopher leans over to me and says, Talk about musically challenged. <laughs> well, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I heard you uh, uh, talking about it with with uh, Tim. Tim McGraw, yeah. And uh, if you think Tim was challenging, my voice is <laughs> a step down from there. Yeah. I gotta... what, what do you make of the fact? Um, and and I, I, I hear the sense of the sense of modesty in it, but I also hear some honesty in there. I think that you don't think that yours is the best voice. So what do you make of all the success you've had over the years with this voice that isn't the greatest out there? I, I think uh, it's the, the fact that I was a, a, the writer of the songs. If I weren't a writer, I'm sure they wouldn't allow me to stand up there. Uh, when I first went to Nashville, they didn't even have me singing my, my own demo records. So they would hire somebody with a better voice <laughs> to try and sell them. And, and eventually I, I got to do it just because my, uh, the record company, I mean, the publishing house was, was going broke. Yeah. So they couldn't buy somebody <laughs> to sing my again. songs. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but uh, I feel, I'm very grateful for the... Were you ever offended insulted and if so how did you get past that feeling when they wouldn't let you sing your own stuff well i i think probably the same audacity that you had me go there in the first place mm -hmm. when uh when i was uh programmed at the time to go in a different direction i was i was still in the army and uh and uh supposed to be a uh, teacher up at West Point in my next assignment, mm -hmm. but uh, but I uh, decided instead to go to to Nashville, and I was I was never really offended by the fact that they didn't want me to sing my own songs uh, because I just loved being a songwriter so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have I'm, I'm gonna move around here because it's, you, uh -huh. have, you have lived such a rich and full life. So forgive me for for bouncing around from piece to piece. I'm gonna try to make this make sense of, uh, of the life that you have lived over these 70 some years. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> well, let's, see, let's see how good I am, yeah. see if I can earn my money tonight. Yeah. Um, to your songwriting, first of all, I was astounded um, in the research for our conversation to learn that five over now, 
500 artists and counting, but over 500 artists have sung your lyrics. What do, what do you make of that? That's an astounding number to me that 500 artists mm. have I recorded take, stuff that you, that you wrote. I'll take their word for it. I, I couldn't <laughs> prove it. But, uh, but no, that is, and it's uh, uh, one of the blessings of, of being a songwriter is that you get to hear your work interpreted by so many different people. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a guy who writes short stories or novels doesn't get to do that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so you have somebody like George Jones or or uh, Merle Haggard, you know, or Willie Nelson getting out there and making making something that's partially you, but it's but it's uh, definitely got another artist's fingerprints on it there. Yeah. How did how did you know how when did you know that? this was your gift, that you had this gift, that you had to use it, this gift of songwriting. How did that, how did that come to you? I had been making up songs since I was a little kid. Yeah. I, I, first one I can think of is on this record. The bonus here. track. Yeah. I saw that, that you wrote when you were 11. 11 years old, <laughs> yeah. But, but I, I never really thought that was a way to make a living, you know, or, or to have a distinguished career mm -hmm. until until it got to be kind of desperate, I think, when I was, I'd been in the Army for five years and through more schooling than I, <laughs> I mm. thought people were supposed to do. And uh, uh, I finally just, just figured it was the way to, that my heart was leaning anyway for, that was, it was when I went to Nashville and started hanging around with some of those singer songwriters and it was just such an exciting creative atmosphere i i loved it mm. it was exciting and creative for you your parents didn't quite see it that way <laughs> you were no. you were um as your fans know <clears throat> and, and again because you've been around for, for so long doing such great work it's hard to remember all this stuff until you start reading about chris christopherson mm. uh, but before the world knew you as a great songwriter you were already a Rhodes scholar mm. golden glove boxer I could, I mean, captain of every sports team you ever played on. Um, you have a West Point opportunity, and with all that, you decide to get in your car and go to Nashville. Mom and Daddy weren't too happy about that, were they? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> in, in short. How, how unhappy were they? Well, uh, I, I think my, uh, my, my uh, mother was, was, was embarrassed. So, uh, I said that uh, don't don't communicate with our family anymore or our friends, you know, and and my my father didn't feel as strongly, but he added at the bottom of the letter, you know, <laughs> so that goes for me too or something. They just thought that I was throwing away all the uh, gifts that came with being a. a Road scholar and whatever you know that it was was uh, embarrassing to them. You later, uh, by your own admission, I'll let you tell the story. But you later reconcile with your parents. Oh yeah. But 25 years, a quarter of a century, goes by without communicating with your mother. They, when they wrote that letter, they meant that. Don't communicate mm. with us. They were embarrassed. 25 years go by and you don't talk to your mom. Um, tell me about how you navigated through those 25 years. Here you are struggling trying to pursue your dream, mm. and your mama says, I don't want to talk to you. Well, in a way, it made it easy, because uh, uh, I didn't have to worry about trying to please anybody else. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I had nothing to lose, you know. It's probably where I got the line, freedom is mm -hmm. <laughs> just another word for it. But I, I uh, um, was so involved and so in love with what I was doing, you know, that I, I, uh, I never felt sorry for myself. But, um, <clears throat> and I don't think it was a whole 25 years mm -hmm. before we talked, because uh, I can remember uh, them coming around to where they really, 
where my mother anyway really liked Johnny Cash, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we all grew out of it. Yeah, you mentioned Johnny Cash. Great picture of him on the screen. Johnny Cash really is the one who made you realize this is what I want to do. Tell me how that happened.